Well, good morning. <laughs> I just uh, it's opening day. Just getting ready to watch the, the Giants game. Uh, but it's also uh, what is it? It's day thirty-seven on the red letter red letter challenge. Did I mention it's opening day for the Giants? So season opener can hardly can hardly wait. But today, right now, we need to focus. We need to focus on on the red letter challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. I'm Pastor Scott, a big Giants fan, but also a big fan of the words that Jesus said. And we have for the last thirty-six days, every day, been reading the red letters, those words that Jesus said. And today, our red letters in this week on going are go and go and proclaim. Easy for me to read. Go and proclaim the kingdom of God. In our reflection today, Pastor Zach differentiates the kingdom of God from the gospel of the forgiveness of sins. And his concern seems to be that we sometimes we think that Um, Getting into the kingdom of God or accepting Jesus is only about getting our sins forgiven, and we don't think about the bigger picture. And it's easy for us to to say, well, gosh, I accept Jesus, and and, uh, I've got my sins forgiven, and I can just go and live my life any old way that I want to. But the reality is that through Jesus, we are welcomed into the kingdom of God, which is more than just getting our sins forgiven. That's a a big part of it, no doubt. Um, But it's also about being invited into a relationship with God, being invited into the kingdom of God. It's it's understanding that through through the waters of holy baptism, we, like Christ, have died to ourselves and are risen to new life. And and that new life is is as citizens of the kingdom of God. We reside here among God. God's creation, but ultimately our citizenship is in heaven where neither rust nor moth destroy. And we have become a part of that kingdom already by believing. This is not about um, believing and receiving Jesus. It's not just about uh, getting away with anything you want to do. It's not about a, gosh, I can live my life here and now any old way I want to and know that and eventually I'll be in the presence of God. It's about actually living our lives today um, in relationship with God, living our lives in a way that reflects the love that we have already received from God with our lives. Again, we never do this um, in order to earn God's trust or love or to repay God for the love that we have received, but we do this in response to the love that we have received, and we invite others into that kingdom into that relationship with God who loves them, loves us, so that they might know what it's like to, to live, live your life in full confidence and awareness of God's love for you. Me, for one, I'm a, I'm a big fan of God. Um, I'm also a fan of the Giants, and uh, um, I'm hoping they have a good season this year. But in reality, I know that there are, as I said earlier in the challenge, there are people who God loves <laughs> who root for other teams as well. And ultimately, our unity is in Jesus Christ. So I invite you to think more broadly about your relationship than just thinking about it as a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, which it is, but also it's an invitation um, into the kingdom of God, into the family of God, into a relationship and uh, where you will live in the presence of God, not only now, but for all eternity. We are getting close to the end of this red letter challenge. You've uh, kept pace so far, and I know that uh, each of us will, will reach that finish line together. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and maybe celebrating a Giants win on open, from opening day. See you tomorrow.